All right, we're working on the example problems for SAS similarity theorem. Remember that SAS is side, angle, side. And this SAS similarity theorem tells us that if we have two triangles, and we know that of the two triangles, we have two sides that are in proportion, say 3 to 2, and maybe 6 to 4. And then the angle in between those two sides is the same then we know that the two triangles are similar and that all of the sides are in proportion. So in this particular example, if say this side here were nine, then we'd know that this side here was six. Everything is one and a half times bigger on the bigger triangle. All right, so let's take a look at example A. It says, are the two triangles similar and how do we know? Well, we know, for instance, that the shortest side of each triangle, so we'll mark that side in yellow, the shortest side of each triangle here on the smaller one is 10 and on the bigger one is 15. So those two sides are in a ratio of uh, 2 to 3. So this one would be a 3. Oops, wow, that's a horrible color for drawing on there, isn't it? Let's try a blue. There we go. We assume this one is a, a 3 and this one is a 2 then. 2 fives, 3 fives, yeah? And then the medium side which is sort of the back side of this triangle here and the back side of this triangle here. That's in a ratio of 36 to 24. 36 over 24. Uh, 36 divides by 9. 9, 18, 27, 36. 4, 24 doesn't divide by 9 though. 8, 16, 24, 32. No. How about 12? Aha! Divide by 12, we get 3, and divide by 12, we get 2. There's our 3 to 2 ratio again. So if BC and YZ are a 3 to 2 ratio, and XZ and VA are a 3 to 2 ratio, and they both have this 90 degree angle in between them, right here, then we can definitely say that based on SAS, these two triangles are indeed similar. Cool. All right, take a look at example B. Example B says, are there any similar triangles in the figure, and how do we know? Well, if we can figure side angle side, we could tell that there were similar triangles. So here we have the short side, well, I guess it's probably the medium side of triangle AEB is nine units. And then the long one, AED, let's do the long triangle things in red. AED then would be nine plus three, or 12 units, right? So that says that this side over here has a ratio of 9 to 12, which would be 3 to 4. Yeah. Then the other side over here, the long one has a length of 17, and the short one has a length of 12. So we have 17 to 12, Ah, did that with the yellow again. That just doesn't work, does it? There we go. 17 to 12. Well, 12 to 17 or 17 to 12 doesn't reduce. So if this doesn't reduce, then with the smaller one on top, our ratio looks like 12 to 17. And that's going to compare to our ratio on the other side of 3 to 4. So even though they do have an angle in common, so we have our, our angle, and even though both sides are in a proportion, they're not in the same proportion. 3 fourths is not the same proportion as 12 seventeenths. So that means that these two triangles are not similar. All right, let's take a look at example C. Example C says, from example B, what should BC equal in order for EAB to be similar to DAC. Let me bring that other triangle back over here real quick. Let's take a look at it again. Sorry, we're a little big here. There we go. Now let's take a look at that again. It says, what should BC equal so that the two triangles are similar? Well, we knew that this one over here was a ratio of 9 to 12. So that means that the other one needs to be a similar ratio of what reduces to 3 to 4. So we know that 3 over 4 
should be equal to 12 over 12 plus something, right? Because that's that something here, that little length on the end over here is what they were asking about. The this part B C over here. I don't know why I'm not drawing on it, but she doesn't want to. So let's go ahead and figure this ratio out here, and then we'll be able to solve for our little x, which is our B C over here. So if we do 4 times 12, we get 48. And if we do 12 plus x times 3, we get 36, and we get 3x. So it goes 36 plus 3x. Subtract 36 from both sides, and we get 12 equals 3x, divide both sides by 3, and we get 4 equals x. So in order for this to be a good ratio or a correct ratio, um, BC, this last little section over here, should be, well now it's drawing somewhere, weird, BC then should be 4 units. So we'd have 16 to 12 the same way we had 12 to 9. That's all there is.